had to go up in the flight to save our life. They're about to clap us. Oh, baby. Oh, my gosh. We are on the godlike. Him and the Dutch Oh, we're on the god godlike. Oh, my God. This thing is crazy. Holy cow. Come on, baby. Let's go get that living legend. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods, this is Tony, and welcome to today's video. Alright guys, so we've got a special video for you guys today. I was trying to think of, man, I don't know, I've done all the bills, what could I do? I'm trying to think of an idea, one of the tasks was, you know, had to use Space Tech Robots. So I'm like, you know what, let's get this out June out, and let's try to get some cool footage with the funky build. And this is a funky build if I have ever seen it, guys. The Prisma on the Aljun. I put this paint job on there because it's the one that uh, matched up with it the best. I was going to put the purple, but you don't see many of this polar um, paint job on it. So I figured, you know what, let's go with the polar today. Switch things up. Um, we have nuclear amplifier, last stand anti-control. We're using advanced repair unit. You could also use shield breaker. Shield breaker works tremendously. Um, we got mechanic guidance operator, which I need to change. Um, that was from when I used to use calamities on here. Dodger, armor expert, modules expert, road hog, and foolhardy quartermaster. Besides guidance operator, those are solid, solid group of uh, skills that you could use on almost any robot. And then for the drone, we're using Paralysis Drone with the Suppressor Chip. I'm repairing unit damage times two and on mild damage absorber. Without further ado, let's hop right into the gameplay and then I'm going to explain some things to you guys. All right, guys, here we are dropping into Canyon Map. We're going to be using our, our Prisma our June setup. Now, this is my thinking, and this is what I think this build may actually be pretty decent. So when you go into flight and you have the Yangli pilot, you activate that quantum. So you're going to be able to laser down Orochis and their ability across the map. Not only that, you could hit Fafnir's in the sky. That's why I said the shield breaker is also another great option, but the shields don't last this long anymore. Um, so it, it's really not as big of a deal. You can make do with the healing. All right, trying to laser up our first target over here on this beacon. Boom, we get our first kill. Very good, very good. So proof of concept, this, this setup does work. Okay, so carefully selecting our next target. Oh, look at that damage, man. Just from, just from like one quick little second. That's all it takes. Oh, man. Hit shield popped up and saved. Unless we can finish him off. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Running down ammo. Hitting him with them things. Boom, 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 boom. Double kill. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, thing you got to remember is there's a 12-second reload on here. Oh, let's go up into flight. See if we can laser this dude down over here. Oh, my gosh. He went into phase shift to save his life. Let's see if we can finish him off. Come on, baby. Hit him with those shots. Boom. We get the triple kill. Oh, man. This thing is actually decent. So the 12 second reload on here is the major, major balancing factor. That and you do less damage the closer somebody is to you. But if this thing reloaded any quicker than it does, it would be a major problem on the battlefield. If it had a six second reload like those hells, oh my god, this thing would be a nightmare. So the 12 seconds I think is very fair. It puts you on timeout, it makes you wait, or you just shoot out a little beep, 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 beep. This weapon does sound awesome, though. It sounds like some Star Wars laser blaster type stuff, and I'm really digging it. I think it looks really, really cool. Oh, boom! Rampage, Rampage, Rampage! Oh, run the Rampage! Shout out to Jablay. We are on the Rampage. Oh, baby, I can't believe it. I never thought in a million years we'd get a Rampage with this thing. Going up in the flight, trying to get some shots on this dude. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay, he just got a big healing surge. So he had a nebula on there, and he had on um, half um, half durability defense. That's what happened. He popped back up, and then once he popped back up, um, he had all that defense on there. 
he was going down quick man holy cow oh man so that's not a god like uh because it took too long from the run padre but it is all good we are still alive and we are still out here doing our thing this mantis uh mothership helps out a ton able to give me that healing able to put that aegis on me so it's just another line of protection could we laser this dude down in the sky come on yes we got him we got him oh baby oh i thought we were gonna get another one there very very close oh man this minos is going to our home spawn over here we're gonna kind of try to focus on another target we're not gonna be able to do a ton of damage to that guy regardless of what happens so we're going to try to see any other targets um, that are more likely for us to be able to take out. Nice! We get the triple kill. Man, I must say, this thing does a decent amount of damage from range. But the only thing is, you got to sit back and camp your butt off. That is the only, only issue. Most of the time when you do that, unless you have good teammates, you're going to lose the match. They're going to take all your beacons and it's going to be a wrap. Alright, trying to find our next target. Oh man, they are all shooting at us. Oh my god, look at all these rockets coming in. What is that, a behemoth with, with chimeras back there? Holy cow. Oh, we get taken out. You know what's perfect for right here? Let's drop this Fafnir. Let's see if we can bait these guys into shooting us again like that. Putting some shots over there. Okay, it looks like he shot somebody else. We're just going to hang out in, until he decides to shoot at us again. Because I know he's going to want to shoot at us again. Alright, waiting for those shots. I know they're coming sometime. Oh, now June's going up in the sky. Let's take our flight. Oh, we got hit with the Chimeras. We got hit with the Aljun. And we got hit with some crossfire from stuff over here. Oh my god, look at us. We are charged to the gills guys oh my lord are you guys seeing this holy cow <laughs> now these are the charges you live for when you drop a fafnir in you just want to get charged like this holy cow i am being a little rampage 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 godlike i am being a little greedy i'm in their spawn but i really don't care i had to make up for lost time i was in the back of the map camp and now i want to get up in their face like a can of mace and just hack the fool oh man it was good dropping in with our smedge mirror mats trying to laser this tight up take him down while we can come on baby he drops behind that cover we're gonna go up into flight Hit him with those shots. Boom, Titan Slayer. Oh, man, look at this. All right, we're going to drop back down. Drop this mothership on us for the healing. Trying to pick our targets, pick our engagements. We don't want this match to get away from us. We had a beautiful start to it. Let's have a beautiful finish. You know what I'm saying, guys? Ooh. Now, this is going to be a strange fight. I got two cannibal reactors on here, so we're not going to be able to do a ton of damage. Um, but we are able to do some good damage, but not the type of damage that we potentially could if we had some anti-matters on this thing. But it's still doing a fair amount of damage, I must say. A invader has a ton of HP. Do -do 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 -do. At this point, I'm thinking, like, man, I don't even know if I should continue to mess around with this guy. Um, let's see what's going to happen here. Let's we get in this bubble. Let's see how much we can get him down. So not a whole lot. And then he just keeps healing. Oh, nice. And Arthur's here with us. Okay, we can get off this beacon now because this Arthur's here. He's definitely not going anywhere. Going off into flight. Lighting his nodens up. Hitting that nodens kabones with that stuff. Hitting him with them shots. Boom, 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 boom. Titan Slayer. Yes. Okay, we're going to wait for this mirror mets to land we don't have a ton of ammo left either but we're gonna try to do our thing let's see what we can do here lighten them up oh yes we had help from our teammate he was lasering up with the hawk but it was still still good oh my gosh and there is the victory ladies and gentlemen what a fun match now you guys are gonna see the clip let's see what we got here oh look at them kill 15 kills not too shabby shout out to my brother hella senpai All right, guys, we are going for, this is actually my third game using this, the previous game. Let me just show you a quick screenshot. 
that game ended extremely quickly it was adrian in his battle wreck account and another guy from zen two crazy crazy strong players but that's who i get matched up against i don't get matched up against these easy schmeezy lobbies um <laughs> these are real fights out here guys let me just tell you all right trying to find our targets here oh man that purple shield saved him what is that an aries or something i think that's an aries let's let him go through his ability the aries actually has a very long shield and even after he shoots um his ability he still has that shield for another few seconds afterwards so we're gonna let him run and do his thing we're gonna try to catch him off guard over here there he is let's see if we can laser him down oh all the way down we get to his last stand can we shoot him around that corner oh man he's being real smart he he hid behind that cover he's using that cover but we're hitting this dude with our built-in fires breath over here getting him down pretty low oh he's in his aries ability again we're playing this long range game tag right now he's going in his ability he's trying to surprise us take us off guard he's trying to hit us with those shots and we're not going to let this happen guys oh my gosh lasered that dude down his shield and then most of his hp this thing is pretty strong man I, it's like i'm surprised by it i'm seriously seriously surprised by it Let's see if you can kill this dude come on baby come on get him over that bit of cover yes we get our first kill and it is on like donkey kong all right boom we finally got that aries you just gotta play patient guys you just gotta play patient you guys know I'm not a super duper camper, but I've been doing it once in a while in my camping skills. I must say are improving from what they used to be. The main thing is when you're going to do some camping. Oh, Rampage, Rampage, Rampage. You got to have that patience. Before I never, ever, ever had any patience. I just wanted to scanning, scanning, trying to find our next target of opportunity. This guy, we're getting snuck up on behind over here. This is no, no good, guys. Let's see if we can take this dude down. Oh, going into our flight to preserve our life. And we need to do that. That was a necessity. It was that or certain death. Let's see if we can take this dude down. Boom! We got the god like amazing, amazing stuff. We are on the beyond god like. Oh my gosh, guys. Let's see if we can get that legend. Can we get that living legend? Where's he at? Oh, hitting him with them shots. He's got like a physical shield or something. Let's see who else we could find. Saving up our ammo. Lasering this guy down. But we ran out of ammo. Oh, someone stole the kill. No, that Fafnir stole my living legend. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, baby. Can we get him? Can we get him? Saving them shots. Boom, we get the kill. Oh, it's not a living legend. It took too long. But it's still technically a living legend but it's technically not a living legend but to be able to stay alive in this build in the current meta with all the the fafnirs and all the other the hells the scotties the snares and all the crazy stuff on the battlefield not too shabby guys we got to make sure we secure this victory right now a lot of times when you're trying these weird builds you'll do good in the beginning but the game gets away from you and you end up losing so I'm trying to prevent that from happening at all costs right now. Oh man, we got that Fafnir in the sky over there. He is a huge, huge threat to us. We don't want to lose this Hawk straight away because this is our the remaining range counter that we have in our hangar. Okay, let's see if we can do some damage to this guy over here. Dropping him down fast. He decided to land to save himself. We're going to take flight. See if we can zip him down real fast. Boom! We got the double kill. Very good. Very good. Oh, it looks like they're starting to spawn in Titans now, too. Things about, about to get hot, guys. About to get hot out here. Oh, man. We got stuff spawning all over the place. Things are going on. Things are happening. <laughs> we got the triple kill. All right. Come on. Come on. Hitting this guy from long range. Hitting him from downtown, baby. We are on the Rampage once again. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Feels so good to get on that Rampage. You just know you're in the mix like Bisquick when you got that Rampage rocking on the screen. Okay, okay, okay. Trying to decide which target we should go for next. Trying to take out any targets as they present themselves. 
They got a shield. Oh my gosh, there's there's it's a, a it's a school of Arthurs. It's a whole flock of Arthurs back there. There's another one over there. What's going on? One, two, three, four. There's five Arthurs on the field. This is crazy. <laughs> I've never seen so many Arthurs in one game. That's wild. Holy cow. Luckily, we've got another hawk with toxin and bane on it. So that's gonna be um that's gonna be what we use next. Boom, we get a Titan Slayer. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Trying to get this guy from downtown. He's way out there. Boom, we get the double kill. Oh, we lost our kill streak. It took too long to get another kill. We were on the run, Padre. This would have been the Beyond Godlike. So we're going up in the sky right now. We're going to try to take this Titan out. Come on, baby. Hitting him with them shots. Targeting. Failed me. Boom, we get the Titan Slayer. Dropping back down to cover. This guy's very smart. He's got those calamities. I mean, those uh, Cataclysm Cyclones just firing at me. Um, until I hit the ground so he doesn't miss an opportunity because you guys know before oh nice another run Padre used to be able to um, have that shield oh my god I gotta ditch real fast hold on I'm running my mouth too much all right we gotta go over here and protect this beacon oh man that guy's yellow shield saved him from taking a lot of that damage and he blasted me off just long enough for them to turn that beacon white trying to laser him from above laser from above oh man i get blasted again what are the odds of that jeez louise papa cheese man these arthurs man they ain't nothing to play with out here man there's a nodens over here too jeez man we gotta get this match under control before it gets away from us all right, see if we can take out this. Arthur at center now. Oh, my gosh, the game is over. We beaconed them up, but they, man, they they were making a strong comeback. A huge Titan push at the end. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. 15 kills, 5.5 million damage. Not too shabby. Appreciate you guys so much. If you guys haven't already, please consider subscribing. We are on the push for 10K subs so we can do our face reveal. Hope everybody has a great day and keep coming back.